What's up, YouTube? My name is Sebastian, aka Cbest1313, and I've got a game of domination on Grid for you today. And as you can see, this is going to be a slightly different than my normal videos, and it's also not an insane score or anything. But let's pause really quickly. Uh, I'll give you a little backstory. Um, at this point, a few days ago, we were playing, and I was on what was then my longest win streak, uh, 50 something, I think. The win streak is still going. I'm on 85, I believe as of right now, as of this recording. So, yeah, so, I mean, we we're with the team, trying pretty hard to win. And we come up against this other clan, and I mean, if we look at the scoreboard here, we have five people on our side, Scooter, Penny, Utopia, Astastic, and myself. And we're coming up against five from a clan or a group that apparently is running the tag Hate Me. And they really are not that bad. Uh, they jumped on A right away, and immediately they send four guys over to B. And the reason I'm per looking at it from this perspective is that in the opening rounds of the game, my score is really, really not that impressive. And I wanted to talk a little about the strategy this team uses quite successfully to take control of this game and prevent us from really having a chance at the beginning. And so if you take a look here, I mean, there's me trying to jump on B dying. Uh, we're spawning out near the original spawn point. Uh, occasionally, we jump back to the far side spawn way in that direction there as I try to point this camera with one hand. Um, and they keep spawning over here in the bunkers or uh, warehouse or whatever you want to call them. And basically, their entire strategy is to just to set up around B flag and to control it. Uh, here you see they get the napalm for the first time. I mean, it was probably announced, and I, I just don't have game. I can't hear the audio right now. But um, so, yeah, I mean, that's basically their plan. It's a very simple strategy. It's a strategy we use many times. Uh, if you sit around B, you can kill whore as people rush in. And then you start getting kill streaks. Let me take another quick look at the scoreboard here. I'm four and four at this point. Um, and over there on the other team, the head papa is six and two. I mean, they are basically controlling this game. Um, let's jump into my perspective here. I think this is my perspective here. I just died. Um, yeah, so I'm running around this game with Flak Jacket, Warlord Pro, and Marathon, I believe. I'm using the 74U with Grip and Rapid Fire. And. Um, Warlord Pro I found is one of the most amazing per perks in the game the extra um, nades and all this and now actually I'm just going to pause really quickly because there you just saw us cap B for the first time which we were all pretty happy about and said hey we need to get B protected uh, their response to quickly they had three people on it within a second Penny got two of them off but one guy still on that corner there and they caught got it back really quickly so, these guys were obviously an organized team. I'm not sure why I'm standing still. I might have been AFK for a split second. Here I go. Um, but these guys were, were an organized team, and they really seemed to be dominating this game. They brought in that napalm, and they controlled things. Um, so, at, at, around this, like, at around this stage, we realized that what we were doing wasn't working too well. And we were communicating pretty well throughout this game, trying to figure out what we could do differently. And as most of you know, with, during an actual game, it's quite difficult to come up with new strategies that everyone can jump on and agree with. Um, our strategy in this game, though, pretty quickly became we have to get A. Uh, the way this team was playing, um, they were circled around B and would not let us get near it. So what we ended up doing is we'd have a few of us pressure, pressuring B just to keep them busy. And a few of us just went for the A flag. And pretty quickly here, I'm going to keep playing this play as I move over here. As you can see, I mean, they were all in these buildings here, and they were spawning over here. But whenever someone would go over B flag, they would all overcommit to that side. I mean, their communication was good, but it wasn't good enough. And this is a problem that we also struggle with occasionally overcompensating to a flag being lost. And what that led us to do at some point here in the near future, I believe, is try to jump onto A and pull all of the attention over there. I mean, there's another napalm coming over the middle. At this point, the score is 42 to 76. And if you take a look at the kill and death scores right there, I mean, they are definitely controlling this game. Um, yeah. So, I mean, let's jump back to my perspective. I'd come over here trying to cap it and die. But, and this sh that could have been a lot better coordinated. It wasn't. Here we go. We finally had a few people on here, and we captured A. So, going back over to me, uh, we're now holding A and C, 
and we're now losing A, and I think our the random who is added to our team comes up big here and uh, kills the guy on A, which the black ops guy down there in the bottom left. Um, I think he does it again in a half second here, and he definitely helped the team a lot for securing this win. Um, so now that we have A and C, uh, the other team has to start scrambling to get one of the two flags, and that let us capture B without too much of a problem. And this is where the strategy has to shift again, and we all have to get on the same page. We basically say, get nades on B, protect B at all costs. Because if we lose A and C, it's fine. We can get one of them back. But we cannot make the same mistake that they did, the other team did. And that is lose A and C, and then forget about B and let the other team cap it. Because B is really the central point on this map. So at this point, uh, we're down 77 to 92. Uh, we, just ca or we just lost C, but we're holding A and B. And now we can do the same thing that they did to us. And this is really where the, where our team begins to shine because I think we have some we have some de sk decent skill on our team that can win the one-on-one -on -one gun battles. And that's really all it takes to hold back even another better team is to really just hold down the choke points and take control of the like the entire map. Um, it's also a matter of slowly getting. Uh, earning up kill streaks. I mean, the uh, the random on our team, who is down there, Black Ops CLX, um, he kept jumping on C, which is for a spawn trap usually not recommended. However, on this map, it's really not the standard uh, three flags in a row map that people seem to like treat it as. It's much more triangular, um, and that's really shown in the fact that that spawn back there in those warehouses is not near a map at all. I mean, technically, it's closer to B than A. And most maps, the extreme spawns on one side are closer to either A or C. And what it does on this map is it pretty much just at, like prevents the other team from getting close. Here, you see a nice little me jumping on the guy with the M9, or M911s. Wow, I cannot talk. Um, but anyway, because this map is very triangular, it lets you hold a triple cap decently. I mean, not perfectly. Obviously, they eventually spawned near C and took it. But as if they keep spawning on that A, it's or if they keep spawning in those uh warehouses or uh whatever they're called back there, it's pretty easy to dominate. Um here you see the napalm up the middle, they use that against us four or five times. Um I used it on them, got a double kill on B. Very good spot for it. Uh highly recommended on this map. Um Yeah, so at this point we're in control of the game. Um Taking a little quick here, I'm 19 and 17 at this point. We're up by 30 or so. Just got my chopper. Um, I'm running 578, one of my new favorite setups, just because once you get the Blackbird, the, it helps the entire team. The entire team starts putting up air support. And because you already had your Napalm, you already had your um, Cobra, you don't have to fight for who gets to put up the air support. So I like it. It's It also makes the Blackbird the final goal because I do really think it's one of the best kill streaks and it doesn't make you like keep camping after the blackbird trying to get your dogs or something it's just blackbird okay now I can die again without worrying too much um so at this point the spawns are completely random the other team starts to get mad uh as to be expected I mean we're doing what they did to us and we're just apparently doing it a little better uh we seem to have a little better air support and I'm 25 and 17 down there 27 and 19 is their top guy um, and we're winning by a good 40 points or so. Um, at this point, our team started to get pretty confident, and that's usually a good thing in this game because real losses only really come when people start getting really mad at the game and frustrated with being spawn-trapped, and our team managed to fight past that, get that A flag, get the B flag, and then managed to push them back long enough to really take control. Um, yeah, I mean, there really isn't too much to talk about. I guess I could mention really quickly the fact that I've been gone for a few weeks or over a month, I guess. I was in Germany over winter break and haven't gotten around to commentating anything since then. But I'm back. I should be commentating a little more now. Um, I'll try to bring a little more Beast games, but this was just a game I was proud of because it really shows good, strong teamwork and sticking together through the end. Um, I think the other team eventually rage quits here, which is, yeah, they're down to four at this point. Um, which I found a little funny. I mean, they were controlling us for pretty long, and then they eventually decided that they couldn't keep up with us anymore, which is 
it's always a nice feeling when the other team rage quits. I actually think we win this game while the enemy team is forfeiting from their entire team leaving. Um, yeah, so here we go. It's, we're at 190. Um, another guy, two more guys rage quit, and yeah, now they're down to two players. They start getting a few more connecting, but at this point we have two sentry guns watching B, Sam turrets up in the back, randoms capping C again. It, this game is just absolutely over. Um, yeah, so enemy forfeiting in 20 seconds. Uh, we win right here. I spin around in celebration. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Final score is 33 and 18. Um, a nice little come from behind win, I guess, after being spawn trapped and really being out of the game for a while. So thanks for watching. I hope this did something for you. If not, oh well. Hope you were entertained at least. Um, more to come. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.